So this is a little unusual. There seems to be an issue that we would like to clear the air about. It's inevitable that when you guys show up, the client is going to follow you and you're all going to go in the room and then be in the way. Maybe y'all should have a day riding around with us. I've got installers who won't give me the correct time that they're finishing their install. Is well, that purposeful? Reason. I know. I've done it. I have done yes. it to certain designers. Yes. Yes, he has. He's I'll done it to me I'll tell many times. If if you know if I know I have thirty minutes left and they're texting, I'll say I have an hour left. Yeah. And that way, as soon as I'm pulling out of the driveway, boom, pulling in, clients say everything's good. I appreciate your honesty. Everything is yeah. not always good. When you do come to the job, it's real important to really check with us first to see if it's okay to enter the space yet. If you're not going to bring the client in there anymore and pick stuff apart in front of the client, we're going to have to try to fix it under the watch fly of the client when they're right. always going to see that spot that I'm trying to fix, no matter what or anything. Then I won't do that to you anymore. That's the reason I did it. So do you know so. what not to do? I think so. Okay. Client, I'll tell the clients they're no longer allowed in the space. No, that's... I mean, no. there's a... It's trying to follow you in. No, so that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. It's just... Okay, you just took it from one of Don't the point out anything. Sorry, Don't I'm, point I'm out anything in front of the client. Don't be frustrated. Okay. What I'd like to do is uh, find some kind of meeting of the minds here, uh, and you can think about that. And, and let me just say to the group that it really is um, annoying, I'm going to use that word, when the installers are trying to work. And let's say they're carrying material up three flights of stairs. They're trying to, you know, work. Uh, uh, they're trying to cut something uh, that's in the driveway, and they have to make sure the dust gets in the house. And they put booties on to carry. It. It's it's an amazing amount of work for each job to be completed. It's pretty easy to just explain to your client that they're working. I want to, I want you to see it when it's in its full glory and beautiful. So right. let's just let them finish. We're not one of those companies that just pull parts and pieces off of some rafter and go build it like the big box stores. So this is not what we do. And we don't want to be those people. No. So this is what it takes to do what we do. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. well, we'll be Anybody fine. We'll, we'll be, be fine. fine. Have a good weekend. Yep. Yeah. Good. You no, know, it was awesome. We went to see Juan's band Saturday night. And how was that? It was so good. It was cool. It was good. It was a rowdy crowd. That's a you know we're very particular. You know I really wasn't expecting y'all to be that good. Really? I mean, yeah. Not like that. Yeah, I mean not as you. good as you were. They were so good. I know. Well, especially like with the other bands that you've seen me with. Yes, I really they, liked with, it. With, with, with these guys, yeah, they're well, really, really cool. He's always good. But the lead singer, every they did ACDC sounded like ACDC. They did. Van Halen. Van Halen sounded like Van Halen. Get out, really? Oh yeah, he's a good sounded dude. like Metallica. Yeah, he's really really good. So. And oh, it was really fun. Troy loved it. What about the flute? Oh, the flute was amazing. Jethro Tull with the flute. Jethro <laughs> Tull. Oh, That's right. That's right. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. We had a good time. How many yeah, it was a really good time. Band? Five. 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 five of us, yeah. Because you used to have three, right? Yeah. It's been three. It's been four. Oh, we'll Not go five. back. We like this plan a lot. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Any positive comments? Oh, Nikki? I have another one. This is hilarious. I mean, it's good, but <laughs> this is from Tamara. I texted Nick at 9.45 a.m. to see if he'd started. Told me he'd be done in 10 minutes. I thought he was joking. He wasn't. Yeah, I said... You got I, that rep going there. Well, I, I, got, I got out right after the meeting because I came in a little early and loaded. And, uh, yeah, she texted me. I was in Suffolk, and she texted me. She said, you know, when are you going to be done? I said, 10 minutes. She's like, yeah. She's like, yeah, right, you know. Very funny. <laughs> right. So I... I took a selfie with the pantry behind me and, like, <laughs> and sent it to her. Nice, yeah. nice, that's cool. Getting a reputation. I put the, bur I put the afterburners on when I'm on Tamara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new name for you floating around the shop, right? That's right, yeah. It's like us, our resident Flash. Flash. <laughs> okay, so we've got today's job, uh, which is the Cole Residence. Mike, anything uh, unique about that job? 
Uh, it's just uh, it's white material. We're using the uh, textured white for end panels and edge banding because they want a, you know that textured look when you look at it. Right. Um, actually, two of the big doors, glass doors, came in broke. So we'll have. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've been reordered, but there's no telling, you know, when the glass and everything will be here. So we're using our own hardware. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to go. So, and it's got crown molding. But other than that, I mean, it's a fairly, you know, simple job for you guys. Okay. Cool. Okay. One shot, one kill, right? Yeah. Should be. All right. Let's roll. Make sure you take care of the clients. <laughs> Thank you. Well, hello, I'm Jacinta with the Closet Factory and welcome to the Cole Residence. Um, I am thoroughly excited about this job. It was um, a huge undertaking because it's really a dressing room and not just a closet. It was really a, a true master bedroom suite because as you come into you know, this entrance that you see behind me, there's this huge room that could be used as an office or a sitting room. Um, it has a walk-in closet right here and it has a master bathroom that's right behind me. And then you have an entrance into the actual master bedroom. So this is what I think sold Jennifer even on this house because she had the vision and could see the potential of having just a fabulous, you know, dressing room here, which is what we came up with. Um, so we started, you know, with looking at tons and tons of pictures online. Um, I have uh, lovingly nicknamed uh, Jennifer the Queen of Pinterest, if you will, because she was, you know, online and emailing me pictures, you know, um, every day for quite some time. Um, and we were tweaking designs and looking at inspiration, you know, from other closets and other dressing rooms that she was seeing online. And then trying to figure out, you know, that which is one of the challenges of how to incorporate what you what people love and what they're seeing online into the actual space that we have to work with. Um, and this is not an easy space. It's, it's huge, which is nice. However, um, there are really angled ceilings here that we had to keep in mind. There were several entrances and doorways that we had to keep in mind because there's different traffic ways to these doorways. So you never want to build cabinetry to interfere um, with being able to walk freely throughout the space. We also have an existing built-in bench area over here with a beautiful window and lots of natural light. So I had to think about that when designing the space. We also have a vent here. And I actually decided to design things going to the ceiling here. So we had to get um, creative, if you will, and drop it and have like some parts of the cabinetry high and some parts low, which is actually gonna add to the aesthetics of the design, but it also keeps it so that we're not obstructing the air that's coming through that vent. We also have an attic door, <laughs> as you can see over here. Um, and at first I just left that part of the design and didn't want to put anything there. But when I was looking at the inventory of the client, she has tons and tons of clothes. Um, and not only was aesthetics important, but it was important for her to really be able to get everything in one space. Um, because Jennifer shared with me that the, the house that they were living in before here, um, it was really a challenge because she had clothes and shoes and bags in every single closet throughout the whole house. Um, and even as they were moving here, she showed me how quickly she filled up the walk-in closet here and how she still had stuff in boxes and still was starting to put stuff in other closets. So it was really important to her to be able to maximize the storage in the space as well. Um, so you'll see when we do the reveal how I creatively still utilize this space but are leaving it so that they can still have access to the attic. Um, then you see we got crazy angles even over here and over here. So all of that had to be you know, considered in the design and we'll show you in the end how it all came out. Hey everybody, this is Mike and this is Juan and we're here today uh, getting ready to put in a really nice looking closet in a room right next to a bedroom. Yeah, it's a room conversion into a huge walk-in closet. So can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. It's gonna be Mac Daddy. All right, let's get going. So I'm thoroughly excited. The guys are on their way. I'm about to start all the instructions. Hey, they're here. What's up, Juan? 
Hey, what's, what's up? up? All right, how's it going? Good, good. Are we at the right house? Yes, you are. <laughs> this is the space. Isn't it awesome? Right, we'll bring everything up for you. Cool. Enjoy your plans. Awesome. On, on Lauren Hogany, right? No, don't even yeah, play like that. You, you're like. friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Claudia Monahan, uh, the design manager of the Closet Factory. We are in the middle of doing Homerama once again this year. Uh, as you can see, we're a little bit behind schedule. Uh, no windows yet, but it's a little time crunching. There's only 30 days left for Homerama. We're doing 22 spaces in the house this year. So we're doing all the space except for the kitchen. We'll be doing something in the garage, or we do something in the dining room. We'll do the, the li a library, and then we're doing a special room this year. We're calling the Murphy bedroom. It's gonna be a secret and it's sort of exciting because we're doing a hidden door. And I can't tell you what's behind the hidden door. So, anyways, it's exciting. And we'll walk through there and go in the house and I'll walk through the spaces. This will be the library here. And this is where we'll put our library wall. That's going to be um, chocolate pear with stained wood faces, meaning that drawer faces and the doors and everything will be solid stained wood. And we are the only closet people in the area that do the stained wood. Also, some of the doors are going to have specialty glass that we have found. It will have fluted columns throughout, throughout the uh, wall unit. Also, we're going to the ceiling with the unit and it will have um, some tall trim and crown. Also, it will have all face framing on it, and it will have drawers and cabinets on the bottom, so it's gonna be a lot of storage in here, and it's gonna have a really neat little pull-out desk in it. So this is the library, can we, we can go to the dining room now. This is gonna be the dining room where we're gonna have our built-in china cabinet. We had mentioned the niche before, and you'd ask me what that is. You can see here how they have framed out a niche in the wall. That's what I call as a niche. So the china cabinet will be built in. And we're gonna flow through to the library. For the library will be chocolate pear. This is gonna be in a lighter color called chill. We're gonna have a stained wood chocolate pear top on it so it flows in with the library. Plus some of the glass we're using in the library, we're using in here also so that everything flows nicely. But as you can see, nothing's gonna be sticking out here in the middle of the room because it would be built into the wall. Then this is the pantry. Where we're putting all kinds of cool stuff here in the pantry. And it's gonna have all types of different wine storage, um, different wine racks. Also, we're putting a ladder in here because we're going to the ceiling once again. So the ladder will roll all the way around. So this is gonna be a really cool pantry with everything that we've put in it. This here is the mud room where you see the window here. Below the window, what we're doing is we're doing a little um, countertop area with drawers on each side, then in the middle is gonna be a little pet nook, which means the little doggy bed can sit inside here, so it'll be the doggy's little home in here where he has his food and everything. So it'll be a cute unit with the pet nook and with the doggy bed. And we'll have decorative, um, and this room's gonna be strata just like the pantry. So everything flows nicely. They can't wait to see the Closet Factory House. And this is gonna be called the Chesapeake House. We uh, we'll nickname it Treasure House Number Two because it has so many treasures in it to see. And people are always excited to see what we have come up with this year because it's always something different. Nothing's ever the same. And it's pretty hard on us designers trying to come up with something different all the time, you know, something really unique. But I think we have this year with everyone's input and everyone's help. Let's do this.
putting up the uh, structure right now. I'm not anchoring anything to the wall because that's what I like to put everything together first and then we'll level it out and then anchor it. So once I get these other three walls set up, I should be able to start anchoring. got three out of the four walls built. Uh, last one is this one. Before I get started with that, I got to drill through an access for that outlet. Today's job, uh, usually you'll see us pinning on site, but in this case, since we had the extra time, we were able to pin them at the shop before we even put them in the truck. You know, optimally, that's the, the most efficient way to, to do that because you know this way, just put them in the truck, we bring them out of the truck, set them in place, and then just start attaching them. There you go. Now you can see right here we have the majority of the uh, units all constructed. Right now you can see Juan getting ready to attach the trim up on the tops and uh, I'm leveling and putting in all of the shelves and rods and I'm going to get ready to put these doors in place. So it's actually moving quite a little, uh, it's moving along rather well actually. I work for um, the military service of the armed forces for the Red Cross. Both of our schedules are very busy, so mm -hmm. we sp try and spend as much time together when we're home, awake. Mm -hmm. So having everything in one place is kind of like uh, when I'm on this ship or she's overseas, when you wake up, you want to wake up at the last minute that you can mm -hmm. because you're trying to get all that rest in, but we try to stay up as late as we can with each other because we don't get to spend so much time together. So then when we wake up, we don't want to waste any time. Wake up, get all our stuff on, and you're out the door. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look for anything. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to lay your clothes out. They're all right there. Mm -hmm. You just wake up, get on, and go. So when, I, when people come over and I show them the house, when we walk through the door, I show them this is my closet, which is a small door mm -hmm. over to the left over there. Usually the lights are off, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's nice. And then I turn the lights on and say, this is her closet. Mm -hmm. And that's when the... Ah, and then the husbands look at me, um, like, thanks, thanks buddy, but it works out, so. He's um, a handyman himself, he can do a lot, and 
um, he said it better not look like I could have done it myself and they exceeded the expectation like very much so especially with the lifetime guarantee that's where it sold was she said it's lifetime guarantee so anything that breaks will come back any time they do keep their word like I called one day they were here next week doing stuff and even add-ons anything that's anything one time I needed a sticker there was like a place where I can see that where they stapled and I said, oh, I need one of those white tabs on it because it's bothering me. They came back and put some white tabs on. So they're awesome. They just, they're like family. They said, we're like family. And they send the same, they try to send the same people back so we know them. And um, they ask if there's anything else we need. How's everything working out? And they're just great. Face, face station here, right? Wake up, go take a shower, come in. Face, hair, nails, everything, right? Turn around. There's the uh, the under stuff, the, <laughs> the lady stuff, right? Walk through, shirt, pants, ready to go. Shoes, which shoes I'm gonna get? Boom, shoes. Walk through, scarf, accessories, as in purse, wallet, whatever. Out the door, down the stairs, into the car, going to work. Very accurate, very accurate. Cause um, I'm I'm frazzled in the morning. My alarm goes off. Goes off. I'm usually like a 15 minute person like where's my stuff and I don't have time I'm like hello where did you put my shirt I can't find my black pants that I want to wear today I have, a, I have a brief today every time I go get a pedicure or I feel like doing my nails I just come over here and I love my nail, nail stuff so um, this is a nail station on the other side I have another station it's for all my hair stuff like there's everything for my hair so but yeah so everything's very organized this is um, my makeup station every morning I just sit right here turn that on there's a light on turn this on, go brush my teeth real quick, come back and do all my makeup, my face, and then get dressed and leave. And I always change my purses with my outfits. So I grab a purse, dump all that stuff in one and put one back. So everything's just so handy in here, so perfect. We had guests over the weekend, they were staying and we had to get some pillows and stuff that's in that storage closet. So I brought the guys up here to all get their stuff. And they're like, what are we doing? And I moved the long hanging dresses and there's a door, open it up, they had no clue it was there. I mean, the guys did a great job. They, there's small touches like uh, in the bottom corner right there, that wall has a plug on it. And instead of covering the plug, they actually pull the plug forward and put a face plate on it so we could still use it. And we didn't ask them to do that. I totally wasn't expecting them to do it. But when we got up here, it was there. So yeah, they, they did a great job, great job in here. Actually, the design was for the crown molding to go straight across, but the fellas being fellas, they cut the crown molding and made it go all the way around. Yeah, that was a last minute thing. Awesome. And we were awesome. very excited, very excited. Yeah. I'm Jen Cole. And I'm Dan Cole. And we, and we love, love the Closet, closet factory. factory. Part of what we, what we do, what we specialize in, is working with the client to make, come out with the best possible solution to their space, because a lot of times what's on paper doesn't actually come out to be something that's, that's tangible. Yeah, sometimes when you get it out in the real 3D world, you know, what you might have on paper may not work exactly as planned, so you know it had to be adjusted out here, and I think what we have right there right now is actually a lot better aesthetically than um, what initially was on the paper. Everything went good until the next one. Exactly.